Oh, you know the drill. All right, well, we're back with the, uh, the manual disco five speed, and today we're gonna do those because it still doesn't run great. Uh, I cleared the codes, but you know, it still doesn't run great. So I'm, you know, just gonna throw small things at it until I can determine what the bigger things are. So gonna slap on a new set of super cheap. Uh, what are these? N KG wires, the blue specials, because the ones they got on there are not very special. And uh, fire it up and kind of see what it does. I'm really interested in figuring out if there if there is a bit of a larger issue. Um, some of these wires look like who? So you know, I figured I'd give it a fighting chance, and that's what we're gonna do today. All right, so we're gonna use the uh, old-fashioned method of taking these off one by one and seeing, you know how long they are or not. This is where it all goes south. This is where I break them all off and wish that I didn't buy them and probably realize that these are the wrong ones. So, uh, one. all right, here you go. So, yeah, these, these have seen better days. I mean, they don't look incredibly old but you know, they don't look great either. So they're really actually probably not that old. Looks like someone's been in here, but not in a very good way. So we're, we're gonna swap them out and try to get some progress. All right, so that was the passenger side bank. Um, this one looks okay. Uh, this one does not look okay. <laughs> that one's pretty bad. Um, let's see this one. This one's okay. This one also okay. So yeah, a couple bad ones. So let's check out see what the other side looks like. All right, so those are all shored up for the most part. I didn't see anything that was majorly terrible about the ones on the driver's side so here's the here's the clincher uh we're gonna fire it up and see if it runs any better i mean honest to god it's not really the end of the world test but it's somewhere to start it's cheap the wires were only 30 bucks so at least helped me baseline things a little bit more figure out if i do actually do have a misfire after i've cleaned this code so let's uh go ahead and Give it the thunder! Oh, and again, I want to introduce again my new key. It's lovely and it should work perfectly. No, no issues. Oh. So we actually want to keep that e-brake on. And uh, neutral, turn the key. And she's alive. Ooh, that's, that sounds, that sounds better. I mean, I, I have the exhaust leak, but other than that, it, it, it sounds a tad healthier and there's no smoke coming out of the exhaust like it usually does. Sounds 
All right. Oh, there's that. There's that breakup again. Oh. All right. Well, let me check if everything's tight and good. Um, and then we're taking it for a ride, see if it feels any better. But my, my unscientific test right now, you know, from the uh, the old biometer, makes it seem like it feels a little bit better. So let, let it warm up. Uh, it's definitely shaking. Oh, and I'm rolling back too, excellent. So let me kill it for now. All right, so uh, I found another diagram and I found out that one of the cables, uh, I guess from the original wire installation, not my installation, was swapped. And I think it was the number three uh, was uh, cable was swapped back on the distributor there. Um, and uh, yeah, so again, I, it, it's still, it, I'm not gonna say it runs better or worse. I'm gonna have to take it on a ride to kind of get a better feel for it. Um, but I feel like it was slightly improved, but I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit and see if it'll, see if it'll do it a little bit better. So let's, uh, let's hit the road and check it out. All right. So that's the startup. <laughs> I'm gonna let the e-brake just kind of ease itself down because sometimes it likes to get stuck. Uh, and again, if you're not familiar with these trucks, it's a trans brake uh, or diff brake, or it, it breaks something more than you think it was. So I'm gonna give it a second here, let her idle, and then we're gonna hit the, uh, do a little loop. Oh, and one more thing worth mentioning before I pull out. Yes, no dash lights. I'm driving a dilapidated old D1 Land Rover with no dash lights. It's a little thing. All right, let it warm up a little bit, see if it'll uh, help with that choppy breakup. And we're just gonna go right on out. Open water. Third gear. starts better it doesn't die immediately uh, on startup so you know there could be some other issues but the check engine light doesn't hasn't come back on for the multiple misfire like it was before so I think some of those bad foul plugs were probably uh, and wires are probably playing a factor but uh, I just want to put a little you know a mile or so on and see if I can get that to come back on But uh, yeah, still no dash light. But, you know, if you've watched any of the other POV driving videos with this truck, you'll kind of remember the sound. And uh, I think it's a lot, it's a, it's a little more uh, a little more pleasant. It's not as, uh, as barky as it used to be. So I'm gonna chalk that up as a win, like I said. These trucks are really fun to kind of do small things. <clears throat> I'm not saying you can restore them cheaply, but you know, 50 bucks in, uh, in an air filter, plugs, wires, steering stabilizer, brake pads. I mean, it all adds up, but it's all easy stuff. So that's what we're gonna kind of keep doing with this truck and uh, kind of continue to drive it around and, uh, and see where it goes. So stay, uh, stay tuned for some more D2 updates and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.